Hi friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Sparkle with Jacinta. I'm Jacinta Cutino, a student teacher of Bombay Teachers Training College. So welcome students to this new digital world. Today we will learn something new and interesting. So let's get started. Children, can you all guess what are these symbols? Hey, you guessed them right. These are symbols of full stop, comma, question mark and exclamation. So now can you all tell me where do we use these symbols? Fantastic! We use them in sentences. So dear students, our topic for today is types of sentences. Did you observe this image? Here in this image, we see just jumbled up words, but it's not a sentence. So let us try to understand as to what is a sentence. When we want to express our thoughts, we use group of words. A group of words that makes complete sense is called a sentence. Remember students, a sentence always begins with a capital letter. There are many types of sentences, but today in this class, we will focus on four important types of sentences, that is declarative or assertive, interrogative, imperative and exclamatory. Let us look at each of it in detail. The first type of sentence is declarative or assertive. A declarative or an assertive sentence states or declares something. These type of sentences always end with a full stop. Let me give you some examples of declarative or assertive sentences to make the concept clear. India won the last test match against England. Here this sentence makes a statement that India has won the match. Therefore, we need to end the statement with a full stop. Let's look at one more example. Mark Twain is going to lecture here tonight. Again, this statement states that Mark Twain will be giving a lecture. So we need to put a full stop at the end of the sentence. Let us look at some more examples. During the holidays, we went to Uti. This sentence again states that during the holidays, they had been to Uti. So this sentence will end with a full stop. Let us take another example. I love my dog. Here again it states that he loves his dog. So the sentence will end with a full stop. I hope students, the concept of declarative or assertive sentence is clear to you all. Let us learn the next type of sentence that is interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentences ask questions. They end with a question mark. Most of the interrogative sentences begin with the letter W, such as what, when, where, why, which, would. Quite a few sentences also begin with how, many, does, did, do and so on. Now let us look at some of the examples. Where do you find polar bears? If you notice students, this sentence begins with the word where, which means it's a question. Furthermore, it asks as to where do we find polar bears. So we need to put a question mark at the end of the sentence. Let me show you one more example. Does it taste good? So this sentence too begins with does, asking a question whether it tastes good. So we end this sentence with a question mark. Let us now proceed with some more examples. Haven't you been learning Kathak for three years? Here in this sentence, a question has been asked as to haven't you or hasn't she been learning Kathak for three years? So we need to end this sentence with a question mark. Let's take one more example. May I eat an extra piece of cake? Here the word may is very important. Very often we use wrong words by saying can I? which means you can, but you are not permitted. Therefore, we always need to ask may I to make our vocabulary more appealing. This sentence asks a permission. May I eat an extra piece of cake? 
So we end this sentence with a question mark. I hope students you are now clear with interrogative sentences. Remember that all sentences begin with a capital letter. Declarative or assertive sentences end with a full stop and interrogative sentences end with a question mark. Now let us move on to the next type of sentence that is imperative. We have three forms of imperative sentences. The first is when you express a command. The second is to make a request and the third is to make a suggestion. Let us look at some examples of command. Switch off the television. In this sentence, there is an order or a command to switch off the television. Therefore, remember students, the sentence will end with a full stop. Let us look at one more example. Walk to the corner, turn right and cross the road. In this sentence, the person is given a command three times. That is, to walk, to turn right and to cross the road. Therefore, this sentence is called an imperative sentence of command. Now, let us take some examples of request. Please put these books on the shelf. Though it's a command, yet it's said in a very polite manner by using the word please. Therefore, it's a request form of an imperative sentence. Let's take another example. Please see the new house I have purchased. Now, if you notice students, it's a request to come and see the new house which is purchased. Please is one of the golden words. So, we need to use the word please often in our gesture to develop polite interacting skills. Now, let's move on to the third form of imperative sentence that is suggestion. Let us play with dry leaves instead of studying. Here in this sentence, let us means only a suggestion. It's not obligatory that the other person has to do it as we learned in the command form of imperative sentence. So this sentence ends with a full stop. Let me share with you one more example. Let us go to the garden and play. Here again, it's a suggestion or an option to go to the garden to play. So we need to put a full stop at the end of the sentence. I hope students, imperative sentences are clear to you all. Remember, imperative sentences are of three forms, that is, command, request and suggestion. And these sentences end with a full stop. Let us now move forward to the last type of sentence for the day, that is, exclamatory. Exclamatory sentences express a strong or sudden feeling or emotion. And most importantly, these sentences end with an exclamation mark. We also use some words like wow or oh with a sense of wonder. And so, we put an exclamation mark. Let us have a look at some examples. What an exciting trip that was. Here in this sentence, a strong feeling of joy and contentment is expressed through the words, what an exciting trip. Therefore, we need to put an exclamation mark at the end of the sentence. Let's take another example. How kind of Sarita to help the injured dog. In this sentence, a strong feeling is expressed. Therefore, it's an exclamatory sentence and we need to end this sentence with an exclamation mark. Let me show you another example. Wow, that's amazing. Here, a sudden gesture of wonder and amazement is expressed. Therefore, it's an exclamatory sentence and we need to put an exclamation mark at the end of the word wow. Let me share with you one more example. What a magnificent waterfall that is. Here again, a sudden emotion of joy and delight is expressed at the sight of the magnificent waterfall. So, this sentence will end with an exclamation mark. Therefore, all these sentences are good examples of exclamatory sentences. So, my dear students, today we have learned four important types of sentences. Let us quickly brush up. The declarative or the assertive sentences state or declare something and it ends with a full stop. The interrogative sentences ask questions 
and it ends with a question mark. The imperative sentence is when a command is expressed, a request is made or a suggestion is made. An exclamatory sentence is when a strong or sudden feeling or emotion is expressed and it ends with an exclamation mark. I hope students, you have all understood the types of sentences that we have done today. So let us all bloom and blossom and fill our minds with positive thoughts. Enjoy the present and radiate smile to all who come in the circle of our lives. Thank you dear friends for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for further updates. So stay safe and stay healthy. God bless you.